Hey guys, we're back with some Ocarina of Time and we're getting the Skulltula that I missed the last time. Yay, I didn't say Skulltula this time. Anyway, so, um, just to say, you guys might have noticed that my updates have been dwindling, dwindling a little bit and these things are getting on my nerves. Uh, that half heart that I'm missing right there is due to me stopping when I wasn't supposed to and getting hit by one of those stupid bats. They're not bats, uh, birds, whatever they're called. Anyway, as I was saying, you guys might have noticed me ah, uh, not update as much as I used to. Like, I used to put up, like, three parts per day, while now I'm struggling to put up, uh, put up even one. Well, I have an actually a pretty good reason for that. I actually graduated the other day. Yay! So, that's good news about that. And now I have a lot of free time, so expect a lot more updates from me. But on the not so good news that happened, my computer caught a virus. A very, very bad one. And wow, they followed me all the way over here. I was talking about those birds, by the way. Anyway, um, that's the second Skulltula right there. You have to look up for it. And so my computer was destroyed and I had to go and get all that fixed. But now it's working again, so all good, all good. Anyway, uh, I'll meet you guys back at the Temple of Time because this is pretty much a... Actually, I'll just meet you guys back at Long Long Ranch as an adult. All right, be right back. And here we are. We are outside Long Long Ranch and we are going to get ourselves a horse. Oh boy, I hope I get this on the first try. It's actually been quite a while since I d I've done this, so... This is kind of a hassle. And what we're gonna do is come over here and talk to Mr. Indigo. I think it's Indigo's name. And there are some people in Kakariko... Kakariko spell it... Uh, spreading rumors I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but... Don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the heart hard-working Ingo poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my talents and gave me obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and re win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Ride. Do you want to hear how to ride? No, I don't need to hear that. Okay, what I need here is the ocarina. You could actually uh, take one of the brown horses. Wait, wrong song. There we go. You could actually take one of the brown horses, but that won't win you anything. Uh, really. Here's the horse that you want. If you don't play that song, he'll run away from you just like, uh, when you first saw him. And let's see. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Alright, so we can't challenge him right away. Anyway, what's gonna happen is that he's gonna challenge you to a race. I'm not, I think I have to jump around these fences a bit to actually get him to challenge you. So I'm gonna run around here. Those carrots are your speed meter. You can give Epona a carrot, or that's why I like to say he more like slaps on the butt. When you want to dismount, stop and press A. Hey, young man, do a, wait. No. Okay, come on. Why, why isn't he challenging me? He's supposed to challenge me. I'm supposed to do it again? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Talk, 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 four, three. I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. Okay, what, what, what is up with this? Time's up, young man. You only paid 10 rupees. You've played around long enough. Man, I can tell I haven't been reading for a long time. Or for very much. Feels like, I, I feel rusty. Don't listen. Okay, so there's Epona. I think I have to play it again. I 
that's a pretty picky horse. Only listens to those who know the song. Jeez. Here we go, here we go. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna jump this fence. Now this one. Now I'm gonna do it one more time. Maybe you have to do it twice. Alright, now I'm gonna talk to him. Let's see. Stop, stop, stop. You're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager. Say 50 rupees? You betcha. Anyway, here we go. The one lap, that's it. Alright, I have to be kind of careful and conserve carrots. And you want to kind of stay on the inside track here, like any other race. And kind of stay in front of him, because then he pushes you along, in a sense. But you don't want to get too close to the fence, because sometimes it'll slow you down. I, I don't know, it's like some sort of bad polygon or something. Woo! Round one done. Shoot! If a great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation, hey you, how about another w another race? If you win, you, you can keep the horse. How very generous. Alright, the last time I did this, this actually took me a few tries. Alright, so he decides to put me off. Sure. Anyway, same thing as before. You want to get ahead of him and stay right in front of him. So if he decides to try and pass you, then you can just have him push you along. Alright, and we win. There we go, and that's all there is to it. What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet on it on the, but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot! Ha ha ha! As I promised, I'll give you the, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Now oh, let's see what he says. Ha ha! As I promised, I'll give... Okay, so he says the same thing. Alright, so the trick here is you can't get enough of a good, of a good running start from that point. So you want to come like somewhat over here. Let's see if we can do this right. Whoosh! Yes, first try! That's the first time I've done that on the first try. Awesome! Anyway, here you go. We officially have a horse. Or rather, stole a horse, even though you want it. Kind of. Anyway, that'll be a very convenient since we have to run all over the place. That cuts travel time down in half, and maybe now I can start showing more traveling scenes when it's not too far away. Like, Long on Ranch to Kakariko Village is, like, right here. And you know, where we're going now is where we've been before, the Goron City. I'm gonna just make a quick run through the village. And again, nothing much really changed. Blah, blah, blah. Man, after getting that horse, it feels like Link runs so slow. I'm not kidding. And there's a beggar. I think if you give her bugs or something, she gives you something uh, something special. I'm not too sure about it, though. Anyway, here's the path up to Death Mountain. Hopefully, we, can, we have enough time to actually get there. Alright, let's see what changed here. Here we go. Ah. 
Let's see, let's see. I am just running into every boulder there is to run into. Jeez. Anyway, here you go. This is what changed at the Death, Death Mountain City Trail. Wait, why did I add city into that sentence? I don't know. Anyway, we're getting pretty close to the ending time, so next time we'll be... Oh, oops. I didn't mean to do that. How did I do that? Wait. I somehow got rid of the map, and I don't know how. No? There we go. I hit it against the desk or something. Anyway, I gotta go. Time is running out. And next time we will see what's different in Goron City. See you guys.